in what ways has your network given added values for Nordic collaboration? Bringing together and to maintain and develop further collaboration between researchers within the fields of forest inventory and forest management planning is a great value for the continuing development of the respective countries' national forest inventories. Moreover, it is also important for the development and improvement of forest inventory methods that can be used in operational forestry planning in the respective countries. One can say that within these teams, the Nordic countries are in fact world leading both in terms of our contributions to the international research, but also as to how the knowledge produced has been utilized in our national forest inventories and in other institutions and companies that serve the practical forest management. The forest inventory network has a long history. In fact, its origin dates back to the 1970s. At that time, the Nordic Cooperation Group of Forest Inventory was established for the scientific and practical cooperation between the Nordic national forest inventory organizations and associated research institutes and universities. Later on, our Baltic colleagues were able to join the network. Since the start of the network, there's typically been arranged conferences, workshops or meetings at two to three year intervals in order to maintain continuity in the networking and in the sharing of ideas and experiences. The responsibility for arranging the networking activities and to apply for funding has been circulating among the involved institutions over the years. And this short-term network project, which I was leading in the last couple of years, was a continuation of the successful Nordic-Baltic tradition. Give examples of concrete results, outcomes from your network meetings. The formalized networking activity, which started some 50 years ago, has certainly been important to maintain contact and for the sharing of ideas and new knowledge between the participating countries and institutions. The meeting that we arranged last year followed up on this long-lasting tradition, but one can certainly say that it was of considerably larger scale than the network meetings held previously. That is because it was arranged to celebrate the 100-year anniversary of the Norwegian National Forest Inventory and therefore targeted a wider audience than usual. At this conference, we had more than 200 participants from all continents. Making this great event was of course not possible only with the grants from a short-term SNS network project, but was made possible together with additional funding, amongst other, through the Charisma SNS network and national funding from the Norwegian government and research council and sponsors. In what ways were Nordic research contacts important to the results from your network? Broadly spoken, one can definitely say that the long lasting efforts of the forest inventory network has contributed to the high standard of the national forest inventories of the participating countries. And it has also, at least indirectly, been important to the development of inventory methods that are now widely applied in practice in operational forest inventories. What is the added values for you as a researcher to participate in a Nordic network? The added value is basically to get a good opportunity to know who is who and who is working with what in our neighboring countries. That is very useful as it makes it easier to contact people afterwards when you haven't met them before. And you actually get a chance to better know who's working with specific issues and who's in charge of what in the other countries. That has many advantages, of course, but when you need to contact a colleague later for a specific purpose, for example, when you need some input or guidance to improve your own work, for data sharing, and of course, when seeking partners for future research proposals. SNS networking for Nordic benefit.